Yes, good afternoon from Rarunui Domain. This is Peter Bogue from Pete's Filming on YouTube, bringing you coverage of the uh, Fox Premiership Reserve Grade game between Glenora Bears and Maris Saints. This is a major semi-final, and uh, so the winner goes straight to the grand final next week to play point share. Loser goes home. <laughs> That's it. The referees today is uh, Joseph Green. Touch judges are Matthew Grannis and Kevin R. Ken. We'll be back in a moment for the kickoff. They've just done the toss there, so we'll be back shortly. Here we are, ready for the kickoff. Mr. Green will be blowing his whistle any second. And we'll be underway in this All right, stay behind the ball. Made to semi final. Downside. <clears throat> Maris kick off into the right hand side end of that Ranuri domain and again uh, <coughs> will bring it out. Knock on says Mr. Uh, Green there, so uh, early knock on the uh, game for uh, Maris to get the feed to the scrum. So Mr. Joseph Green apparently has just come back from Australia doing a stint over there for uh, some education, a couple of games apparently. So uh, these two teams are uh, playing off for this uh, in the major semi final for the final next week. Goes out to number six, goes on to number 11, which is um, <coughs> Tuolima. Tuolima takes towards the post, drops the ball. No, it's been. Uh, and we have a bit of a. Uh, Push and shove there. <laughs> Eleven it was with the ball. That's uh, Tulima. Tulima uh, not been tackled and pushed out, and the uh, general guy pushed back. So uh, got a we're going to call the captains out. The referee's had his chat. It's number 10 who takes the ball up now for uh, Mitch Akawala. Akawala takes it towards the post and he's brought down two metres out. We go left hand side to the uh, that to number 13, out to number 7 to Maeve. Maeve goes down and loses the ball too. So uh, early nerves in this game for both sides. So Maeve. Uh, Have a slippery fingers, so we'll have another scrum and it'll be a Glen Royal feed this time. Out. On the feed to go, that was Suli. Suli gets out to his left hand side, they bring it uh, up towards the middle of the park for Glen They come left again, Glen Big tackle there on uh, number three on Bernard, and Bernard will get up and uh, gets the penalty there, so. Uh, At number 17 is apparently as the halfback. Uh, most teams he'd be a prop. But, uh, just straight over the top of the commentary box, just before halfway. Devlin with the ball, takes a tap, gets out to his right hand side to uh, Tuck Tilata. Tuck Tilata takes it inside the uh, Marist half there, and the dummy half goes uh, Ryder. Ryder feeds it out to his right hand side to, um, to Davis. Davis takes it to the uh, 40 metre line inside Marist half. Yeah. We went over three and a half minutes gone in this, nil all, and a few mistakes early. And there's number eight comes through, that's. Uh, Tavalu, Tavalu takes the ball up to the, towards the uh, 20 metre mark, comes to the right hand side, left hand side now, goes out to uh, Santos, Santos takes it to, towards the post. Number 9 rider in with the ball, coming left hand side again, to number 12 goes, uh, cuts inside, that's 12, that's um, Takatulata, Takatulata gets rid of it. Backwards, says the referee, and it's four comes away with it. Devlin, Devlin uh, takes it towards the uh, corner post there, but can't get it. 
his tackle goes out to the little halfback number 17 and uh, nice little chip through, grubber kick through. Six was offside for uh, Glen Aura apparently, according to the referee. He's on the ball. So it's a Maris penalty, so they get out of jail, free card. It's um, <coughs> Siri to, uh, to kick the uh, to the touchline out of the side. Through the ball, gets out to his big number 11. That's a uh, big tackle on the number 11 there. It's um, uh, Tui Lima. Tui Lima gets up, plays the ball, goes out to um, Akawola. Akawola takes a five metres inside the uh, Glenora half. On attack now, uh, Maris. They come up the middle of the park there. That's um, Kavaliku. Kavaliku is uh, taken inside the 40. They go left hand side again, straightening up is number eight. That's uh, Sammy. Sammy takes it towards the post. Captain May. May goes through the gap, sends it out to his man on the left hand side and goes in underneath the post. So a nice little try set up by May for the little halfback. Number seven for um for Maris. So four points on the board after six minutes to uh, Maris. Don't know what the number was that scored that. Get that in a minute. Conversion to be taken. The attempt at conversion. Comes in and kicks. Flags go up. Six points to nil after seven minutes gone here at uh, Ronary Domain. And the. Uh, That was Siri that uh, kicked that conversion to make it uh, six points to nil. Going fantastically hard out here. They reckon it's getting up to about 35 knots apparently. So uh, hopefully we don't get it blown away in the uh, commentary box. Uh, Manly to kick off for uh, for Glenora. <laughs> Down the middle it goes, it's going to be uh, Siri to take the ball nicely over his head, comes out for uh, towards the centre of the park, onto the 20, get up and play it there, goes left to uh, Falala, Falala gets out to his left hand side, to his uh, centre appearing, that's uh, to Ilua. Lewis tackled uh, 35 metres out from his own line. Glen Oral way in front then, penalised by Mr. Green. So seven metres inside the, uh, their own half. So it'll be Siri to take the kick. As I say, terrible windy conditions out here and a bit of rain coming come across. This is what happens out in the west. Been here before. So it's Tuilua to take the ball out to his uh, big man coming through and uh, Tuilima. Tuilima takes it towards the post. They go left hand side again to the last try scorer, number 10. That's. Um, get his name, I could He's tackled out in front of the post. And the dummy half goes number 9. Gets it out to Maeve on the left hand side. It goes out to. Uh, to Dixon. Dixon takes it left hand side. Gets it off the offload away there and. Uh, Comes to what back towards the centre of the park. They're out in front of the, out by um, in front of the goal line. There, they're going left again. I think that's where the thing is. But uh, pass the ball to uh, Mr. Arkin on the sideline. He decided not to catch it. He put a pretty flag up. So uh, good play by uh, Mr. Uh, Arkin out there. Not such a good pass by the Mar Maris player. We'll have come back and have a scrum, and it'll be a uh, Glen or a feed. in order to feed the scrum. Comes 
to that left hand side, they straighten up bring it out towards the 20 they take it right hand side now a lot of, a lot of cohesion with the Glenora boys at this stage but uh, no, no doubt they'll come through that's why they're here today playing this major semi-final they tackle it on the 30 metre mark line they go right hand side to uh, Santos it was and uh, bring it left again coming out the left hand side it's uh, four going with the ball Devlin, Devlin uh, takes it up they play the ball quickly get it out to the right hand side and it's uh, 17 the halfback who uh, kicks the ball down there it's, um, it's Manly picked up nicely by the uh, Maris player he brings it out past the 20 metre mark so uh, getting themselves out of jail they go left again, Marist, and uh, can leave for a high shot there from the Glenora player on uh, Marist. So they're about 27 metres out from their own line, and it'll be uh, Siri to uh, kick for touch, which he does, puts it in the touch just short of halfway on, 10 metres short off. Right hand side now to, uh, to Dixon. Dixon takes it up to middle. He takes it six metres short of the halfway line. You get up and play it. They come right hand side to uh, uh, Tui Lima. Tui Lima is, is, I think it is, number 19. He gets up and plays the ball. They take it left hand side now. Call a forward pass there. But referee right, and, uh, right on it. Light changing. Uh, Drashley today too. It goes out to Siri. Siri goes to his left hand side to um, to Ilema. To Ilema straightens up, goes towards the post. He's brought it down. They take a left hand side to, to Mave again. Mave again. He doesn't get the sideline this time. He gets it out to his number four, and it's uh, Pepalau. Pepalau takes it forward, and they've lost the ball forward. So uh, not a good day for the ball handling here. There's no. Uh, it's not wet. It's uh, the odd little showers coming across, but it's only uh, minute. But it's just the wind that's uh, troubling the players, I think. So, uh, we'll have another scrum, and this time it'll be a uh, Glenora feed. Glenora feed the scrum, comes out left hand side. Comes out to uh, Hannum. Hannum takes it up the middle, and uh, seen him play a couple of times this season. He uh, does a good job there. Goes out to their uh, winger, Cow. Kalka Smith, Kalka Smith is uh, brought down 11 metres short of the halfway line. To the dummy half goes uh, Ryder, Ryder uh, somehow to play the ball there, they lose it again. So uh, player knew he did it, so uh, be another scrum and this time it'll be a Marist feed. Siri to feed the scrum for Marist. 14 minutes gone here at uh, Rono de Main with a score at 6-0. The uh, Marist. They go left hand side again, out to number one, that's Sui, uh, Felinico. Felinico is brought down 11, 12 metres inside the Glenora half. They go on a right hand side now, the little man, little big man there, Akaoa. And he's uh, going to be brought down 32 metres out from the line. They come right hand side again, number nine takes it in, and it's, um, it's Akalua. Out to number 13, 13 goes through the middle of the park, can't get across, he's short, kills the referee. They go out left hand side again to Mave, Mave sends out to his centre, number 4, and it's uh, Pepalau, Pepalau gets it, takes a tackle, they come around right hand side to Mave again, Mave gets it out to Siri, Siri puts it on the boot, the ball goes down, and who's going to come up with it? The referee played at Glenora, but uh, knocked on by Maris. So Glenora get a, get out a jail free card. Then they'll have the scrum about uh, 25 metres out from their own line. Sully to feed the scrum for um, Glenora. Goes in and out that right hand side. 
Comes away to Hannum again. Hannum takes it up on the middle as he normally does. And the dummy half goes rider. Rider flicks it out to his right hand side. Goes towards the halfway line. Making it towards the 40. He's brought down. Defence by uh, Maris. Can all take it up towards the halfway again. Offload out the back, and it's number eight with a ball. That's uh, Tavalu. Tavalu takes it five metres short of the halfway line. Come left again to number 17. Long pass out to his uh, centre. Devlin. Devlin uh, can't take the ta- can't take the uh, get past the tackle there of uh, the winger. Number five takes it up. That's Kalka Smith. Kalka Smith gets it out the right hand side. Takes it out to his standoff there. And that's big number eleven coming in again. That's Santos for uh, Glenora. Give him a bit of ascendancy now, Glenora. Don't know what to do after this little standoff. Uh, ball kicks, kicks through here. Taken nicely by the Barris player. And he'll have to get up and play it. Five metres out from his own line. Made misses. Not the ball. Flags flying everywhere. Everything's going. Going at 100 miles an hour here, except the camera. Steady feet, Pete. <laughs> so, so a little knock on by the Maves, the uh, halfback for Marist, and uh, it'll be a scrum feed to Glenora. So, 18 minutes gone in this uh, first half here at uh, Rani Domain, and as I said, the wind's blowing really strong. I thought I was in Wellington for a little bit, but then. Number 17 out to his fullback. Now, I surely, surely cuts inside one, cuts inside another one, going towards the line. He's going to be brought down about 15 metres short of the line. And it's um, uh, Takala Lata takes the ball for Glen Aura. He's tackled too. We go left hand side to big number 15, and that's uh, Woodaka Missy's Tama. And he's tackled out in front of the post, five metres short of the line there. And the dummy half goes rider. What can they do with this? They feed out to the big boy, number 21. That's Ioni. Ioni goes through the line and he's uh, held up. It's a good position for the referee. Held up, calls the ref. So rider into dummy half, gets it out to his... Uh, Oila Poga, they take it out to uh, Bernard, Bernard is uh, going to be tackled 10 metres short of the line, can't bust that Maris defence at this stage, it's trading by 6 points at the moment, comes off number 10, that's um, Akaola, Akaola has uh, knocked it on for Maris, so it'll be another scrum feed to uh, Glen Aura, and they're right out in front of the post. It's 19 minutes gone in this uh, first half here with the score. It's six points to nil to Marist. Oh, the poker to feed the scrum comes out to number 11. Number 11 cutting through the hole, nearly makes it. That's all right. Out to the fullback, out to Ryder, Ryder out to his centre there to Devlin. Devlin uh, is caught. A few metres short of the line, they come right down inside, and they don't, they try to sneak across the line. The referee's looking at it, no, nope, held up his hall. Good defence by um, Maris there. Tackle three cool way uh, on the Glenora player there. Ryder, who's had to try to sneak through that little gap, which closed. They play it now, they come right hand side again. Number 12 comes through, and that's. Um, Takatilata, Takatilata takes the ball towards the post. It's tackled, goes to Hannum, Hannum gets it out to uh, his uh, standoff, goes out to the fullback, Suli, Suli uh, takes it towards the line, they can't get through, Marist hanging on well with their defence there. They go to the right hand side there, sneaking across the line, can he get there this time? Held up, that's three in a row, three in a row held up tries uh, by Glenora, so can they break that defence of Marist? Last tackle. Last tackle called the uh, referee, so it's a handover. Marist not quite sure what to do with it. Bring it right up to the 10. Bring it right up. Wait there. Okay, play the ball. Wait. 
move to uh, pass out to his right hand side and his, uh, his man's tackled coming out from their own line now still with the ball uh, Glen Royal players uh, leaning forward in the uh, tackle in the uh, as a marker there with his knee into the player and uh, something you can't do and uh, the guy's trying to play the ball, so Siri to uh, take the penalty kick to the sideline. He decides to come the uh, way of this side, so uh, win behind him, of course. Win, win coming straight at us at about 102 kilometres an hour, perhaps. They said 35 uh, on the radio before, but uh, who knows. Coming in from the other side. Maybe in a hurry to get there. Right, I'll uh, throw it to him. Good man. They take it left hand side to pick number 11 again. And uh, that's uh, Tuolima. Tuolima, he's been driven back to the 40 metre mark. Good defence by the Glenora forwards there. They take it left again. And that's pick number 15. And that's uh, Kamo. Kamo uh, takes it inside the Glenora half. Take it right again with number 16. That's Missy, Missa, sorry. They come left hand side. A bit hard when you get the uh, team list thrown at you about four minutes before the start of the game. I actually been in touch with the Maris Club yesterday and they uh, refused to give us a team list, but come on. We've got it now. Siri with the ball for um, Maris comes off a general player and uh, six to go because this play that calls the referee there young referee just Joseph Green take the horse and post there um, Marist getting through Big number 15 again Camo takes it to the left hand side to number 13 and he goes towards the post it's um, Kavaliku. They take it left hand side around to Siri. Siri picks it left to Mave. Mave gets rid of it out to his number 12. That's uh, Dixon. Forward pass call by the referee. So he'll come back and have a scrum. And uh, General will get their second uh, get out of jail free card in this game. We'll have a scrum about 10 metres out from the line. And uh, of course, 20 metres in. Manly, the captain um, for Glen Royal, been taken off. He's injured in that tackle back on the uh, the 20 metre mark there. I think he was a tackler. But, uh. So we'll have a scrum when uh, he gets off the paddock. Where we'll wait for him. Injured players off now, been replaced and. Uh, thank the likes of uh, Mr. Uh, Warren Clark today, uh, a referee, standing next to the commentary box and uh, taking charge of the uh, windbreak or the rainbreak for me today. So ball goes out and it's out now on the street, Bernard, Bernard uh, plays the ball, they go out to the bigger man going through and he's uh, tackling a heavy tackle by the Maris defence there. Kavaliku, Kavaliku uh, back into the tackle again is Kavaliku number 13 for Marath uh, involved a bit in the play the, the hit ups and the uh, tackling Glenora bring it out with number 21 that's Ioni, Ioni takes it up towards the uh, just inside, outside the 30 metre mark now they take it left hand side now as it tries to sneak through the middle there, can't get through uh, Glenora player Set a ball being kicked down by uh, Glenora. Real strong wind blows it back, and it's uh, 
is number one that comes up with it was uh, Felinico. Felinico has cut through the hole there, gets up towards the halfway line. He's walked down seven metres short of the halfway line. Nice little run by him. Of course, better, of course, but uh, coming away now. And it's um, uh, Pepperlow. Pepperlow uh, takes the ball just inside the Glen or a half, and the dummy half goes. Um, uh, Falala, Falala uh, gets up, plays the ball. They go away to the left hand side now. Big number 16. Number 16 is, uh, is Missa. Missa takes it up the middle. Oh. Oh. They go left hand side to Maeve again. Maeve putting a grubber kick through. And who's, which way is the bounce going to go? <laughs> All of a late uh, tackle there, I think, on May for the uh, the, hook, the halfback for um, Crystal Wind. Wind in this weather are uh, changing the lighting uh, severely too. I think it's going to be a penalty to uh, Marist. So I think it's going to be a penalty to Marist. Uh, but the couple of players, we one from each side, be spoken to about uh, aftermath. Assembly. Number four, Devlin. Kinu De, De oh no, it's Hannah. Hannah's been sent to the bin for, for for ten by the referee Joseph Green. So Maris will uh, take the penalty. It must have been for that late shot on uh, Maeve. Kane Maeve. He takes the tap, brings it out to Big Noah 16. Missa, Missa goes towards the line and he's uh, he brought down about 12, 13 metres short of. They're coming out the uh, right hand side again to Tualima. Tualima gets the ball away onto his. Uh, Man coming through, and uh, he takes a tackle right in front of the post. They come away with Bukumbera Tualima. Tualima again. Tualima goes over the line. The referee's there. He's pointed to the spot. So Tualima in for his um, his first try for number 11 from Marist. So they go ahead by uh, 10 points to uh, nil after uh, 30 minutes gone here at uh, Ranui Domain in this major semi-final. Siri to uh, attempt the uh, conversion of that try scored by uh, Tualima. Wind's that strong. It's, uh, glad the ground's not here. Uh, putting his boot into the, the ground like that. He's got to get up between uh, flashes and there we go again. It's uh, falling off. Uh, call time again for the referee. Just have to take it quicker. He's done it, and it goes to the right hand side. So, uh, 10 points to nil after 32 gone here at uh, Ranu to, to Maine. That's Oli Pega to. Uh, Kick off for Glenora, high up into the air onto the left hand side, coming towards the, and it's going to bounce into touch in between the uh, 20 and 30 metre mark, so they'll have the scrum. So it'll be a scrum feed to Glenora, as I say, that wind's pretty strong today and blowing from, uh, from the uh, west. I suppose it's west, we're out west, aren't we? So, uh, Glenora with the feet to the scrum. A 
That's City Street gone here at uh, Brian Domain. We could score at 10 0 to uh, Marist over Glenora. Uh, Suley to feed the scrum for. Uh, and now that goes, goes out to Ole Pager and it goes to, out to the winger to. Uh, Kalka Smith, Kalka Smith is uh, driven into the ground on that right hand side. They to stick on that right hand side, they think they decide to go through and uh, might pay dividends. That's the number two, that's uh, Tanguji. Tanguji and Maris going to be penalised there for holding on at the uh, play of the ball too long. So what can Glenora do? Can they get some points back before half time? They put a good touch on that right hand side. They so say 33, 34 gone. They're going to score. This is the time to do it. Number nine, Ryder takes the ball, takes it out to his uh, Santos. Santos takes a straight down the middle, and he's going to be brought down about 10 short of the line. Ryder in with the ball, looking for that. No, oh, Ayoni with the ball. The inside pass there. Ryder again out to the right hand side. They flick it out to the right and it's the centre. Bernard, Bernard going towards the line. Gets out under the winger on that side. I think that's number two. That's uh, Tone Gutu. Tone Gutu has scored the first points on the board for uh, Glenora. So 35 gone approximately. It's uh, 10 points to four. Kick still to come. It'll be a hard kick from that side of the park getting on, on the post here. You have to deviated towards Swanson to get it through the post. And it's Suli to attempt the com conversion of that try scored by um, Tangutu. Comes and kicks now. Looking pretty good. Flags go up for the touchy. So six points on the board for Gideon Aura. They're trading by 10 points to six now after 35-36 uh, gone here at uh, Ranu Domain. So back in the ball game here. Maris to kick off with uh, Siri. Siri kicks it long and deep and comes off the legs of number four there. And knocked on by Maris. He was lucky then. The uh, number four for Glen Oro then. He sort of came off his legs like a bullet out of a, a shotgun then. And uh, the number Siri goes through and uh, tries to pick it up and uh, knocks it forward. So they'll uh, Glen Oro will get the scrum feed. So they can get themselves up the other end of the park, make it a little bit closer. And, uh, Suli to feed the scrum for uh, Glenora. In and out it goes. Goes out that right hand side. They come up towards that um, Santos with the ball. He gets up and plays it. Comes out to uh, Ioni, I think. Yeah, Ioni there with the ball. Plays it up towards the 40. They're getting a bit of a roll on now, Glenora, are they? Man goes off. A good off play out the back to. Um, Kalka Smith, Kalka Smith takes it up the middle of the park. Not very big, but he takes it onto the halfway line for uh, Glenora. He get up and play it and right her into dummy half. They'll move it right. Bring it back left again for the first man out, and he takes it again. They always do that, but uh, change of pattern. Now it's uh, penalised there for uh, a to play the ball. So uh, about Ola Pago to. Uh, Kick to touch, which he does. So about 37, 38 gone here at uh, Ranuri Domain, and uh, did Glenora, the uh, closest home side here, uh, <laughs> are trading by six points to ten. They go away with the ball now. Big run by the uh, player there going into the. Uh, Defence, he gets up, plays the ball, goes out to Ione, Ione inside pass to um, Satay, Satay goes up the middle of the park and he can't get through there, he's struggling to get there, he's having another go, 
He's going to get up and play the ball right out in front of the post. They come away, and it's uh, going to be a penalty against Marist again. Interfering to play the ball. Knocked back there, 10. So Glenn Roy to take the uh, penalty kick, and it's um, Arola Poga to uh, take the penalty. They take it out to... Uh, Takatilata, Takatilata, he's going towards the line, thinks he can get across himself, he can't. They go right hand side again. Iola Pega goes towards the line, getting out of Brown. Referee says he has, so Iola, Iola Pega puts the ball down to the right hand side of the post again, so they come back to a 10 all ball game coming up to half time. So nice play by Glen Oro there. They hadn't given up hope, so uh, it's 10 all. With uh, coming up half time. It's the same chat. It's the same chat that I'm having with them. Yeah. If we're going to buy into this stuff, we may have it really down the sheds. We're here to play football, and that's all it's going to be. Okay. No, I know it's good to have that kind of stuff, yeah. but if it carries on, we're really actually going to be taking it. Right? We're just trying to leave it. And that uh, little talking to was about both teams, uh, Maris having a go about uh, the uh, Glen Ragoy not having his mouth go on. Shouldn't yeah. been, been man's back on, so it must be another couple of minutes to go or something. So We don't want to get into those dramas, but they, uh, they've both been told the same thing, both the two captains and the two players involved. So Here he comes. comes in the kick now. Yep. Down the middle of the game. So, uh, Glenora take the lead after f nearly 40 minutes gone here by 12 points to 10. When you're ready. Maris to kick off here. Okay. Ranua, long kick down this right hand side. Taken nicely by the uh, Glenora player there. Got away from there, number 14. Okay. And that's um, uh, Sete. Sete oh, takes it. Up. Up towards the half, he's about 15 metres short of the half. They come out right hand side to pick up a. Ione. It's Green Hall! Gets up and plays the ball. Go right hand side again to Hannum, who's back on after spinning 10 in the bin. Takes it inside the gear. Uh, nearest half. We had a bit of injury time in this uh, first half with a time out. So Here, uh, and Hull! Go for. And the rider out to Ioni. Ioni puts it out to Suli. Suli puts a little kick through down this left hand side. Going towards the line. And it's number one for um, Maris. He drives out of there. Felonico uh, oh. oh. gets up and plays the ball. They try to bring it out of his own from their own line now. Up against space. Hold! Hold! And they are penalised there. He, he told them to hold. I can hear him in the background there saying, hold, hold. And Siri will take the uh, first kick, penalty kick for um, Marist. Sure he's aiming for him. Goes down five metres inside the... Uh, Just here. Or a half. Pick it up. Take it out the uh, well inside. That's number 11. That's that two, 11 are doing a lot of the work there. That's 18 is McFall. McFall uh, gets it out to his big number 19, and that's uh, two 11. Two 11. Hold it. It's taken right out in front of the post. The dummy half goes McFall again. They come left hand side. They get it inside the 20. Light training, changing direction. Siri with the ball. Siri throws it down. He gets it out to his little number two on the wing there. Go it's it's Fal Falala. Falala out to Siri. Siri in the middle of the park. Out to his number 11. That's uh, Tuilima. Tuilima. Tuilima uh, goes towards the post. And he's, uh, he's tackled. Still got it. Throws the dummy out there. Goes out to Siri. Siri. Puts a little grubber kick, taken nicely by number. Devlin for um, Glenn Rowe. Right. He'll get up, play the ball a couple of metres off his own line. They try to come the 
down this left hand side there. Up in square now! He's tackled oh! uh, oh! 10 out from his own line. That's uh, number 5 where Kalka Smith gets it away with his right hand side. Goes on to uh, Santos. Santos takes it through the middle of the park. And Up there! He's tackled on the uh, side of the 20. Who uh, goes in the background? What are they going to do? He's going to take the tackle. <laughs> take the tackle. Number 3. Why is this to do Bernard? Bronson Bernard takes the tackle. So they have an exciting first half with Maris coming out and scoring a couple of quick tries. Uh, uh, six minutes and then 30 minutes going ahead by 10-0. Um, uh, uh, and then Glenroy come back in the 35th minute and score and uh, one try and convert it. And 38th minute they score another try. <laughs> what? Busy talking. So. They're going like, um, they're going to the wall. They're going to the back for the second half now. Yeah, Mr. Green waiting on Mr. Green to call time on. With the scores and uh, okay, behind the ball. 12 10 to Genoa over Maris. We go for the second half. Maeve takes the ball, gets it onto his bigger man. I think that's um, uh, Tui Lima. Tui Lima up right the ball up the middle He's of the park. Oh! Down outside. Oh! Big number 19 coming through uh, Tui Lima. That's the other brother. Sorry. And they go right hand side with Maris. They're coming up towards the. The halfway comes out left hand side to um, Kavaliku. Kavaliku takes it five metres inside the uh, Glen or a half. Maeve with the ball, little chip over the top, going for it. Nicely taken by the number five, I think it is, for um, Kalka Smith for uh, Glen Ora. Take a left again, and uh, that Santos comes through. And Santos gets it five metres short of the uh, halfway line. They take it left again. Ioni takes it up the middle of the park, brings it back just over halfway line. They take it left with the uh, number 12 out to Suli. Suli gets it out to his. Uh, the Santos again and running down that left hand side there. Santos uh, decided he doesn't want the guy standing too close to him and put the ball high in there. That's number six of his Iola. Pago gets it up. Nicely taken by number four for uh, Maris. That is um, Papalau. Papalau gets up and plays the ball. Goes the ball, goes out to Maeve. Maeve, the little halfback. Brave little fella he is today. Taking on these bigger forwards of Glenora. Ball goes out right hand side now. Goes out to um, Papalau. Papalau takes it up towards the uh, halfway line. Uh, towards the uh, 30 metre line. Put some light on the subject now. It goes dark and. <laughs> Maris in the middle of the park there, trying to scoot through the centre, they get it towards the halfway line. It's number 18 into dummy half, that's McFall. McFall uh, gets dummies to the left, goes to the right to Siri. Siri puts it all on the boot, takes it down, and number five going to pick it up as Kalka Smith picks it up for um, Glen Oro, runs it out towards the 20, makes it on the 20, gets up and plays the ball. The dummy half goes... Um, Devlin, Devlin takes it up towards the uh, 40 metre mark. But trying to put themselves on attack. It's a uh, fullback again. That was Suli. He had a go. Out to his Devlin. Devlin uh, takes a tackle, metre short of the halfway line. They come left hand, right hand side again. And it's a Tongan Guta. Gets up and plays the ball. Comes out left, right there, left hand side again. Ball kicked down. It's going to be too big, I think. It's going to go dead in goal. So it'll be a 20 metre restart. Good play, but the wind's that strong here today. You don't have to. You just let it drop onto your knee to go that far. It's not a 
kick it's not on. <laughs> May for the ball. May brings it out from the from the uh, 20 metre mark. They come left again. Nice little run by this uh, fella there. That's the uh, number one. That's um, Fella Nico. Fella Nico is going to get up and play the ball and the dummy half goes um, Papalau. Papalau gets it out to his number five which is a little winger and I can find him on the sheet. Number 18, McFall with the ball, gets an offload out to his number 13, nice play in the middle of the park there, takes it towards the uh, the line and that's McFall into dummy half again, he takes out to right hand side to Siri, Siri uh, gets it to his bigger man, Tiulima, Tiulima gets up and plays the ball, McFall into dummy half to Siri again, he's going to put the little grubber kick through, is it going to go too far? Five has to put it dead, that was uh, Kauka Smith, and uh, he puts it dead, so it'll be a goal line drop out. He couldn't risk letting it uh, go to the ground. The uh, Maris player coming through quite quickly may have dived on it and scored the try, so they'll, uh, they'll be happy with a, a, a goal line drop out. With the wind behind them, it's, uh, they can get 50 or 60 metres out of this wind. Pogo to, uh, Pogo to take the kick and he was 50 metres down to White Mave. Mave takes the ball, gets it on to big number 16. Big number 16 comes through and hit with Waioni. A nice tackle by Waioni there. 16 gets up for Grizzly, but uh, there goes um, Tuolima. Tuolima gets the ball to uh, inside the uh, 30 now. McFall into dummy half for uh, Maris. They come towards the centre of the park there. They're playing towards the middle. McFall at dummy half. They're going left hand side to big number 16 who took that hit a minute ago. And that's, um, that's Missa. Missa gets the ball away up to number 12. 12 drops the ball, but Glen Roy is going to be penalised. So, uh, inside the 10 there calls Mr. Um, Green. So action, action happening here at uh, Ranui de Main. It was number 12, that was um, Dixon, and he took that tackle and lost the ball. But Glenora plays up in front of the referee, so the referee is uh, penalised on the 10. So Glenora, uh, Maris get a uh, get out of jail free card. Maeve will take this uh, kick, this uh, penalty kick. What will they do? Waiting on the ball, waiting for Mr. Siri to. Uh, Bring it up. Interesting game this. May for the ball now for um, Maris. Gets it out to the pick number 16 again. That's Missa. Missa takes it towards the uh, goal line and is brought down on a heavy tackle there. They take it out to the side with Big McFall and uh, Big defence by Glenn Orr, oh, have to be a bit careful, leaving too early, the referee is on to that. Siri uh, to his left hand side, out to big number 19, uh, Tuolima. Tuolima is going to be brought down by left of the, to the right of the post, and uh, only a couple of metres out now, McFall into dummy, dummy half, and goes to throw the dummy pass, and um, leaves the ball behind. Uh, I think he just outsmarted himself fractionally there, Mr um, McFall. And uh, we'll have a scrum, and it'll be our Glen Aura feed to the scrum. So, uh, I guess we'll need to feed the scrum there for uh, Glen Aura. It's brought out to uh, their right hand side, and they're brought down on the uh, just inside the 20. Come again with um, Tawangutu. And it's uh, Bernard runs it out. 15 metres short of halfway now. They take it left hand side again. 14 Satay with the ball. Gets out of one tackle. Goes again, goes up towards the halfway. Gets the offload away out to um, uh, 
uh, tackle Tilata. Ball kicked towards the uh, goal line there. Is it going to stop in, in, in the end goal there? No, it's not. It's going to go dead. So it'll be a goal line draw out. As I say, the wind is just that strong here. They use it to their advantage, but sometimes it's not to their advantage at all. So it's um, Peppel out to bring the ball out for uh, from the 20 metre. Maven, the dummy half, gets it out to his right hand side to Tilua. Uh, Tilua will get up and play the ball when he's allowed to. They come up left hand side, McFall with the ball now. He tries to scoot round. He's a couple of bigger guys in front of him going around with them and gets tackled by the big guys. So number 10 comes through and that's uh, Akaola. He takes about a one tackle out of two and he's held up just inside the uh, Glenora half now. Ten minutes gone in this uh, second half. Two with a little bit of a break from the, the dummy half there. Gets it out to Siri. Siri goes towards the line. Can he get through? Pass out to Maeve. Maeve going towards the line. Can't quite get it there. They're a couple of metres short of the line. Into dummy half goes um, Carmel. Carmel. Uh, Glenora penalised there for uh, holding down. And if they're out to play the ball there, so there's a holding down penalty. So Siri to take the ball back and uh, takes the tap, brings it on to Dixon. Dixon has to go through the middle of the park towards the uh, the uh, post there, can't get it through. And come up left hand side, the big number 15, which was um, Camo. Camo is in the st st steel wheel by number five for uh, Kirka Smith. Yeah, Chris Smith um, getting up and play, pulling the ball away. They're having a bit of a push and shove and don't want the uh, quick tick to be taken by uh, Maris, so uh, the referee hasn't allowed that anyway. So uh, it's a penalty for the steal. So Siri will take the ball back once again. Takes it to the right hand side, gets it out to his loose forward coming through, and that's. Um, Players coming in there from all angles and uh, another penalty against Glenora so uh, Mr. Uh, Green obviously going to do something here. saying that's three times since the referee and he's just sort of right so, uh, so uh, Maris will have another penalty out to the right hand side of the post and Siri's going to take the two try to uh, even up the uh, the score to make it 12 all so uh, not a silly thing at this stage with this wind round anything can happen so uh, Here he comes in the kicks. Down the middle it goes. We have a 12 all ball game. 12 minutes gone in the second half, and we have a 12 more all ball game. Uh, Marist and uh, Glen Ora here in the major semi final of the uh, First Division Fox Premiership of Ranuri Domain. Oli um, Paga to uh, take the kick off for Glen Ora. Behind the ball! Wind's still going <laughs> profusely here. Ranui, long kick deep down there, taken by Maeve. Maeve will uh, run it out, give it on to his bigger man coming through, and uh, he's going to be tackled on the 20. Okay, well, 
Not even the dummy half. Gets it away to his uh, number four, which is uh, Papalau. Papalau uh, takes it up towards the uh, 40. They bring it out with uh, big number 10, Aka, Akaola. Akaola takes it out. He's a man that uh, knows a bit about the rules, about three warnings or three penalties in a row. Something should happen. And uh, well, Mr. Green doing a very, very oh, good no! job out there. Maris still with the ball, oh. taking it inside oh. the or a half. Remember, it's locked up at 12 all. 13 with the ball now. That's um, Last one, uh, Kavaliku. Kavaliku uh, takes the ball towards the, uh, the 30. Siri to uh, take a kick. No, he's not going. He flicks it out the back. And the Lord. ball's going to be last tackle called. Ball's going to be flicked back again. Back to McFall. And McFall stepped into touch. So uh, unlucky there for McFall. He stepped into touch with the ball in his hand. And uh, therefore, it's going to be a... It's going to be a handover, because Mr. Green says, the referee. So about 14 and a half gone here at uh, Ranui Domain. Good, exciting game in the conditions. The wind uh, blowing strongly. Come out left-hand side, and that's... Uh, Santos with a ball being driven back. Now it's going to be penalised there for trying to steal the ball. to uh, Pogo to kick it into touch, which he makes good of it. Sully with the ball for the Glenora. Gets out of one tackle, going backwards now. Comes back towards the, the uh, 40, Maris 40. They come right inside again out to big number 16, and that's um, Doi. I haven't mentioned his name much, I haven't been involved very much, but never mind. Ryder into dummy half, gets the ball, takes a little scoot from dummy half, makes about three to four metres. Still trying hard, not very big, but uh, plays the ball, comes out right inside to Hannum. Hannum takes the ball up, takes a big knock from big number 15, but doesn't deter him. He stands up and carries on, gets it about 10 metres short of the halfway line. Tough little oh. character, Hannah. He's going to get the ball away to his left hand side to number eight. That is coming through, and that's uh, Tavalau. Tavalu, Tavalu uh, takes it towards the line. He I can't saw. get through either. Can they score from here? They take it to the right hand side. Kicks on, little grubber kicks through. It's going to be taken by number one. That's um, Felinico. Felinico going to be driven back, not as far enough. In goal he is. He's been driven back, so it's goal line dropout from Maris. So he didn't. Uh, quite do enough, uh, Felinico. So we'll have a goal line drop, and it's going to be Siri to uh, take the goal line drop out. 16 minutes gone here at uh, Rowan Area Main. 12 all the score. Exciting for the spectators. Okay, the sign behind the line kicker. It's actually just lucky the live streaming uh, team's not here today because uh, this wind would uh, probably blow them off their uh, off their perch up the top there. So uh, they might have had to cancel. Comes out left hand side to big number 18, takes it through for uh, Glenora. And that's Davis. Davis heads towards the post and a little sneak through by Ryder. Can't get the ball down. So it'll be uh, Tavalu to play the ball. Uh, he's only a couple metre short of the try line there. Number nine, it's Ryder that's actually got to play the ball. He was the man that had the ball last. Referee's got it right. Players, players taking a switch of play there because. Uh, darkness setting in there a bit. It's, um, Ranui, to put a bit more light on the scene. Right on. Big black, black, grey clouds over the white tacker. He's uh, out to our left hand side from here. Yeah. 
still decide what we're going to do with the uh, ball. We've got uh, 18 minutes gone. <coughs> Don't know what we're waiting for here. We're just waiting for uh, pick number 16 to come back on. That's um, Missa. Satya Missa. He's coming back on. Don't know why he went off. Probably just tired, want a little bit of a drink. See, can you hold the game up for me? Because he's playing the NRL. Anyway, Glenroy play the ball. Sneaking through the middle there, the um, Glenroy player can't quite make it. Right in the dummy half. He's the man that started off and could, nearly got to the line. Short pass there. So pass there to Hannum, and Hannum has gone in over the, under the, uh, to the left-hand side of the post. So it's um, Hannum that scores a try, puts him out to a 16-point to 12 lead. After 18 minutes gone here in the second half at uh, Ranui, big black clouds coming in, and uh, a bit hard to sort of uh, get some light on the scene. So it'll be Sully, I think, will uh, attempt the conversion. Sully with the attempt to conversion now. Left foot a kick. Up the middle it goes. So 18 points to 12 now. They lead by six points. Um, Glen Ora here at uh, Ranui Domain in the uh, Fox Premiership Reserve Gate game. Maybe Siri to kick off for, uh, for Maris. There you go. Goes deep. Taken nicely by. Uh, Tanagutu, Tanagutu's uh, two and Gutu, sorry. He brings it out. It's a wind blowing straight in the face here of the, uh, of the staff here on the uh, commentary box here. Nice tackle by the Maris defence. Oh. Number two, the... Uh, you know, I take it to the middle of the park. Excitement brewing here after 20 minutes, 20 minutes gone. So only 20 minutes left for either of these teams to... Uh, Take out the privilege uh, to go to the Fox Fox Premiership oh. Reserve Grade Grand Final near at um, not Smart. Not played out. Taken by Suli at um, halfway by uh, last tackle calls the referee. Takes it out the left to right hand side to uh, Iona Pogard. Ball bouncing strongly, going towards the dead ball line. Gone dead, it says to call the referee, so it'll be a 20 metre restart once the um, Maris players get back on side. So, let's say, halfway through the second half here with the uh, league taking, league going to um, Glenora. Up and give space! How? I need Captain! Send it in! Oh. Maris with the ball now, bringing it up towards the halfway line. Takes it in. That's um, Tulua. Glenora get the ball. Suli puts it out to the left hand side, away to his uh, winger. Comes into uh, number 11. That's uh, Santos. Santos with the ball now. He comes up towards halfway line. Takes it up over the halfway line into uh, Maris. Marist half oh. now, 21, 22 minutes gone. Comes out to um, uh, Keoka Smith. Keoka Smith takes it 10 metres inside the uh, Marist half. They go left hand side with number 14 at Satay. Satay takes it away, gets out of that tackle, gets out of another tackle, goes away. Breaking out of tackles like he's the biggest man on the paddock and he's only probably a medium sized player. Out comes the number six, a little number six, long pass out to. Uh, to nobody but touched by uh, Maris number two with the ball that's uh, Tanagutu Tanagutu and Gutu they go left goes to uh, Hannum Hannum uh, going towards the line he's had a solid game as well as the uh, 10 minutes he spent off the paddock in the bin but never mind it uh, goes this time to Ryder Ryder um, is tackled out in front of the post Come left hand side. 
Comes out to Bernard. Bernard uh, taking the tackle there. Decided to uh, be able to take it. Tungutu to get it away to um, Kauka Smith. Kauka Smith, not very much of him, but he's uh, having to go through the middle towards the line. Can't get it there. They go left hand side again. He's going to try and sneak through there. He's going to be put on his back. Over the line. Over the line. He's held up. Isn't amazing how the, the little skinny ish sort of guys, no offense to him, but uh, I think they can get through those big uh, fours uh, near the line. You know, they have go pretty, showing plenty of heart. They take it out to the left hand side now. A little grubber kicks through and it's going to be taken nicely by the um, Maris player out there. I think that's his center number three. It's uh, Tui Lua. Comes away to the uh, fullback. Uh, Felonico, Felonico's got the ball now. Six, space. Hold. Rain coming down here at Aronary to Main. I can hear it on top of the roof now. Number four with a ball for uh, it's, uh, Papalau. Papalau. He'll get up and play the ball. May for the ball, going towards the halfway line, takes it to the centre of the park, and that's. Um, Cavaliku, Cavaliku with the ball on halfway line. They take it right hand side to uh, the little fella number nine, and that's. That's like in space! In Akua. Akua. They'll get up and play the ball. They go right hand side. Kicked by Siri. Siri puts it up high into the air, and it's going to bounce. It's going to go on a touch up this uh, left hand side now. It's like. My man there on the. Uh, with the uh, screen there, making it easy. So even the camera lens getting wet. So we'll have a scrum on the uh, about 10 metres out, 20 metres in. Pretty heavy there. Ball knocked forward by Maris. There they had their chance there. Came out and uh, knock on. Now the scrum we're going to have goes in the left hand side. Of the scrum and uh, Santos with the ball takes the left hand side for Glenora. All that coming in the left go. That, um, Smith. Oh. Bring it to the right. Bit of thunder in the back background or lightning Six or something. Eight, and, uh, oh. Coming right hand side. Let's bring number eight with the ball. That's uh, uh, Tavalu. Tavalu uh, oh. takes it inside the. Uh, Eight metres inside the uh, Marist half. We've got about 27 gone here. And the score, 18 points to 12. Number two fighting through. Somebody's got the ball. Two's got the ball. Two's going to be called offside. Two's going to have to come back because he was in front of the kicker. About where the halfway was. He was uh, a few metres in front. Referee's on to it. Young Joseph Green. So penalty against number two there. Unlucky, he got, uh, nearly got the bounce and uh, he actually went over the line and uh, forced the ball down. So it'll be... Uh, Siri to uh, take the penalty kick. Kicks in the touch, 15 metres short of the halfway. 28 gone here at uh, Ranui. They come out right hand side. 12, Dixon goes up the middle of there and he's going to be brought down Get nine metres short of the halfway. Two with the ball, flicks it out to his right hand side to the uh, hooker, which is uh, Aka Ola. Aka Ola takes it inside the uh, Glenora half. They come left to Maeve. Maeve inside pass to Dixon. Dixon goes up the middle of the park. 
cuts out to the right hand side, then plays past the Siri. Siri uh, takes it inside the uh, theory. Just. And they go away to big number 16, and it's um, Missa. Missa still going with the ball, looking for the offload, can't get it away. Comes left inside the Siri. Siri gets it out to Maeve. Maeve, a little grubber kick through. Who's going to get the bounce here? It's going to be uh, number four. He's got the bounce. Four got the bounce of the ball there, and he scores. Referee's going to check with a touch judge. <laughs> Referee checks with a touch judge. Ball long. So it is number four. Papalau scores a try for um, for Maris, so brings it back to 16. Two points of difference now. So kick still to come against the wind. Siri to uh, attempt this conversion to uh, draw the game lever. Comes in and kicks, knows the wind, got it down the middle. Over she goes, so we're back to an 18 point uh, draw, 18 points each, so uh, eighteen points all after 30 minutes gone, 10 minutes to play in this uh, major semi-final. Dixon to take the ball for uh, Maris, runs it towards the centre of the, uh, the post there. To keep it alive. Oh, oh. It's 18 all. Anybody's game. This. So and remember, the, the allowance for uh, extra time in this Come game. Get up and square. One drops the ball there. Just a little bit of a. Fell Nico uh, was picked up the ball. He actually picked it up before he uh, before he took off. But, uh, never mind. So Glenora get a. Their third get out of jail free card today, if I'm keeping count. Hit him to feed the scrum for Glen Aura. They go left hand side with um, with Santos. Santos oh! take a step backwards. He's going to be brought down and. Uh, Goes out to number 12, uh, Takatilata. Takatilata uh, takes it towards the post and the dummy half goes rider. They go left hand side to uh, Sete. Sete going towards the line. He can't get through that hole. Post oh! up. They come out left hand side to number 15, it was, that went to take that. And that was Wuraka Masuitama. And he drops the ball, so Maris to uh, Maris get the ball and uh, come out. Glen Royal once again penalised for that 10 metres. They've been uh, fast tracking. Too fast. So a kick by Siri. Siri takes it up just inside the, uh, the Glen Royal half. Remember, it's 18 all. Hold on, wait. Now I a ball there, but number eight with a ball, and so he loses the ball in the tackle there. He's so rather excited out in the middle of the paddock there, the uh, general boys, because the uh, Maris uh, number eight. Sammy, junior Sammy, uh, drops the ball on that tackle. Pretty hard knock he took, and the... Uh, Ball bounce free, so uh, perhaps should have stuck it up his jumper, perhaps, <laughs> and then he'd be penalised. So it'll be a Glen Aura feed, 10 metres inside their own half, about 33, 34, 35 minutes gone. Just had him to feed the scrum. Come out the right hand side there, and it's. Um, Smith with a ball. Oh! Oh! Meters inside oh! their own half. 
the left hand side to um, to, 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 to Tama. They take left hand side to uh, to Cowlin. Takalia Natala. Tinata. He goes uh, him again with a ball. A good man on the first. Not that big, but he takes a lot of tackling. Bring him down. 14 with a ball. Satay. Satay goes away. He's lost the ball too. A lot of lost ball here today. You think a team's going real well, and all of a sudden they lose the ball. So, uh, Glenora. Maris get a get out of jail free Carling because it's their third, their third of the day as well. And uh, they'll have a scrum on the uh, 20 metre mark. Wrong end of the park, but they've got, at least they've got possession. There goes the light again. Sun shining brightly here at uh, Ranui. Just enough to be a nuisance. Wait on, six, wait on. I'll tell you when. Yeah, when you're ready, mate. Siri to feed the scrum to Marist. And then out it goes. They come away with it. Right, get up now! They come out 25 metres out from their own line. Maved with the ball now. Gets it out to his, uh, his winger. Up in his face! In hold! Hold! That's Tuirima. Tuirima. They go right inside. Straight back into the forwards for... Um, the game or the forwards. They come with little number 10. Big man. <laughs> He's a big man, he's strong. Akarula. Just a bit of time out to uh, see if the players are alright. Play the ball, he seems to right. He says, I'm okay, nothing wrong with me. May for the ball, gets outside Dixon. Dixon gets the ball and uh, runs towards hey, the centre line. Here we go with the light again. Light coming, going away. May for the ball, puts it high up in the air down towards the uh, other end of the park. Taken by number six for uh, Sully, it is, sorry. Sully takes the ball, brave man, the full back there. Gets it away and it's little uh, Smith takes the ball. Head eye tackle, calls the referee. So about 36, 37 minutes gone in this uh, second half here at Ranui. Everybody getting a bit anxious. And the rider will take the, uh, the penalty. Okay. Oh! And that's um, Santos oh! with the ball. He plays it. Comes out right hand side to uh, Henham. Henham goes ahead. Here comes the light again. Comes really dark. Comes away at a big number 12. Big number 12 running towards the post. And that's um, Takatilata. They take it right again. Going for the drop goal is number six. He decides against it. Has a go for the try line now. He goes down there. He's brought it to the right hand side. What's the tackle count now? How calls the referee. Ryder with the ball gets out to pick number 18. The big number 18 goes in. Can't get it down. He's short, says the referee. Last tackle. Last tackle. Still. Ryder gets it back to uh, Suli. Suli uh, dummies to uh, get a goal and the ball comes from just Siri. Siri picks it up nicely for Maris. He runs it out to the uh, towards the 20. Can't get there. May for the ball at dummy half. He takes it to his right hand side to his centre. Um, to Lua. To Lua. To Lua. Takes it up another few metres and they're uh, they tackled there. Number two gets away with it now, and that's... Yeah, dude, that's enough! That's it. Wait, go. Falala comes out to Siri. Siri passes out to his bigger man coming through. They bring it up 
towards the halfway line. They're about 12.30 short of the halfway line. Here goes in the background. Searage going to kick down from Paddock. Long, long it's going to go. The hoot is gone. The hoot is gone. He just gone, calls the referee. He's on the ball. So there we have it. After 80 minutes of football, we have a tied ball game. 18 all. 18 from Aris, 18 for Glenora. So what happens now? We have 10 minutes extra time and see who uh, comes out on top after that. And then if it's still drawn, we have another 10 minutes, I believe it is. But we'll, uh, we'll just come back after the... Um, after we have a quick break. We yeah, just had the toss for the extra time, which uh, Maris won and elected to go with the wind, and the wind's gone away at the moment, and, uh, and Glenora will have to kick off from right to left. So we'll be back in a moment for the kickoff. Here we go, extra time now, a straight to 10 minutes it is. Okay, behind the ball. kicking off. Made to take the ball for uh, Maris. Big run by the um, Tuilema. Tuilema uh, plays the ball. Hold. It's Missa, sorry, apologies. Can now I get the ball and it's 15 gets the ball, goes backwards. Nope. Rip, says Mr. Um, Green. So penalty to Glenora, kickable distance, but um, not sure what to do here. They're going to have a. Sh they've already said they want to have a shot at goal. So uh, they'll have the shot now. It'll be uh, Suli. So here we are, waiting Suli's attempt at uh, the penalty kick. Remember, we've still got uh, eight and a half minutes to go. We play the full ten in the, uh, the new system. The boos coming from the crowd there. That must be the Marist supporters. And... Uh, Suli will come in and kick this. Comes in, kicks it. And it goes over. So it's cool, but it's there. Two extra points on the board. So it's 2018 to Glenora. Maris to kick off. So it's Siri to kick off. With about uh, six, seven and a half minutes to go in this uh, extra time. Long kick down the right hand side here. Taken nicely by Suli. Suli passed out to his uh, uh, Taka Tilata. Taka Tilata takes it up the middle of the park. There's that sun, bright sunshine we're talking about again, straight into the uh, camera. And the dummy half goes wider, wider uh, with the ball out to Hannum. Hannum goes up the middle as he does. Takes a big Let's run. He's 12 metres short of the halfway line now. And the dummy half goes wider, wider gets it out to uh, his little number six. It's Ole Poga. They go right again. Ole Poga to the ball again. Charge down there. The ball. Ball kicked through by um, Marist. Does he pick it up? He picks it up and scores under the post. Referee says, what happened? And it, uh, it's a try, so Marist go in the lead by, uh, go to lead by 22 points to 20. So a bit of a trick play there that uh, didn't, didn't come off for Glenora. And uh, Marist go in and score to the right-hand side of the post. So... Uh, Three and three quarter minutes gone in this uh, first lot of extra time. But we only have one lot of extra time as the teams are ahead at the end of that. That's it. Kick still to come by Siri. 
to attempt this kick and the light goes again. I've got to put some more light on the scene. Busy day at Ranui today. Siri comes in, kicks it, down the middle it goes. So 24, 22 begins, it goes in 24, so it's 24-20 to um, Marist here after five minutes and extra time. Take the kick off here from uh, for Glenora. High down the middle. Maeve trying to take the ball by himself and uh, can't do it. There's that sun again, bright sunshine. They go left hand side. That's the fullback, uh, Felonico. Felonico is tackled on the 30. They go left again. The big boy coming through, that's us. Missa. Missa comes through the middle and he's uh, 15 metres short of the halfway line. They go out to little number 10 and it's. Um, no, 12! Like hold! Hold! And only half goes number 2 and he puts it, off, puts it out to his left hand side. Crunks in the tackle, but Dixon away with the ball. Out to the winger. The go down the left hand side, that's the centre, number four, puts the ball over the, hang, over the top of the you know, defensive go. line, number eight still has the ball, going away with it now, under that sunlight in the corner. Marist on top at the moment. Go. Come out left hand side with Maeve, Maeve uh, is going to be tackled and Glenora penalised again for that 10 metres. They're kicking themselves in the foot by uh, getting penalised at the 10. Leaving too early. So we're just going for an answer where they're going to take the... Yep, they're going to uh, take the two. So Siri is... Uh, Trying to put themselves six points ahead. And we could have Glenora come back and point six pointer as well. We could have another lot of extra time. By then it could be getting darker. It's just got to be two metres away. Two metres from the mark. Seven and a half minutes gone in this uh, extra time. With uh, Maris leading by 24 points to 20. trying conditions today on the camera. Siri comes in and kicks. Up the flags go, so 28, 26 points to 20 it is, so Glenor has got to get a converted try to keep this game going. Get to kick off for uh, Glenora. They need to be up there to get the possession. New possession. It's uh, McFall that's got the ball for Maris. Trying to get that. Took that. Struck the ball. Lost the ball. McFall, number eight, throws the ball away cunningly. Right, using his uh, mouse, not very uh, sportsman-like, but then mine throws the ball away so they can't get it back quickly. And it'll be a Glenora feed to the scrum. So what can they do? They've only got a minute and a bit left to go. Time called now by the referee. Interesting game here at Ranui. 
people on their toes. Expect those of both of them. Surely to feed the scrum. Goes out to Hannum. Hannum now back to Surely. And Surely tackled. Surely's having a good game. He's on, on to it. Go right hand side with Glenora. Big number eight goes through. And that's uh, Tavalu. Tavalu goes tackled out in front of the post. They take it to the right hand side of the post. Get it out to the centre, number three. That's Bernard. Bernard walking through. He flicks it out to. Um, Kaka Smith, Kaka oh! Smith is uh, taken. It's still about 20 metres from the, the try line there. He plays the ball. They come left hand side again. Goes out to Henham. Henham gets it out to Ione. Ione goes towards the tackle. Referee's going to call it held, and that's it. A hooter in the background. A Marister through to play point share next week. Exciting game here, disappointing for um, Dean Laura. It's been a tight game for both sides. 26 points to Maris, 20 points to Glen Aura. All in extra time and uh, full use of extra time, that 10 minutes. So interesting game here. So Maris next week will play Point Chev in the uh, reserve, the, Lion, the Fox Memorial Premiership uh, Grand Final. So... That's it from uh, Ranui to Maine. This is Peter Bogue from Pete's Forming on YouTube wishing you a very good afternoon and a safe journey home.